What's the deal? What's the deal? This is Fresh Convo Podcast, built to last, you know what I'm saying? Good vibes only. We got very good, very great special guest up in this mug. You know what's going on. First of all, we got, just call me Steph behind me. Hey, oh, she got to get her mic. We got, uh, you already legendary in my eyes right now. I just met you, but your comedy is so funny, you know what I mean? You got to have a, a very good, you know, your, your invitation to comedy is going to be successful, but at the same time, this is comedian Judge Miles. Thank you. What's up, y'all? It's your favorite funny girl, comedian Judge Miles. And you already know that when the judge is in, the verdict is out. Hey, that shit is so dope. I had to get her over here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about that a little later. Of course, we got co-host Mo Money Diva. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? And <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a living legend all the time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dope boy, Clay. I ain't even going to say nothing else. You know what I'm saying? You know Appreciate what it the is. Love. Appreciate the love, King. What's the word? What's the word? Show for sure. Behind we got Bird TV. Yes, sir. My man's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's how we're going to do that. So, uh, first of all, Judge Miles, how'd you get the name Judge Miles? Like, that's to be a comedian. I said, damn, she a real judge. You know what I'm saying? That just turned into a comedian or whatever. Cause we all got different talents. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, how did you get the name Judge Miles? Um, I always wanted to be a judge my, like, entire life. And so, um, in 2006, when Facebook, like, came about, I put Judge Miles because I was going to go to law school. Okay. And do all of these great things. I took the uh, LSAT twice. And, you know, it just didn't quite pan out that way. But I still get to help people in this uh, room. And so, comedian Judge Miles just stuck because I'm bossy. Uh-oh. And I'm bossing up in the city, okay, <laughs> and I'm then. judging, and I'm putting down <laughs> verdicts. That's it. And the people love me. I'm the people's champ. Now, what makes you bossy? What makes me bossy? Because I know what I want. I'm very mm-hmm. assertive. Okay. Um, I have the plan already. I already know specifics, and I need it how I, I like it. And if it's not that way, we got to get it that way. So that's what okay. makes me bossy when I apply that pressure. I heard that. So when did you first start doing comedy? I started doing comedy in 2018 mm-hmm. at Punchline. So that oh, was... Shout out Punchline. Yeah. I used to DJ that. for that. I've probably seen you before. Really? Yeah, I DJed yeah, uh, Boogie Nights and stuff like that. On Tuesdays, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, what's yeah, up. Shout yeah. out to Boogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was uh, me and Marv Ross and all of them. You familiar with that? Yeah, you know okay. people. All right, then. Cool, that's cool, cool. We know people that know people. Yeah, yeah sir. That's my comic boy. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So when did you get into it with SDM Flex? You know, it's so funny because putting out good energy, you mm-hmm. get that good energy back. And so um, I this year I focused on just being positive. Last year I allowed a lot of what people said and did to make me respond. And it took a lot. It took away from a lot of the things that I needed to do and accomplish. And it also took away from your energy. And so this year just focusing on being more positive, keeping God first, it attracted good energy. And um, one of the comedians who is a really nice lady, her name is Crystal Clear, she knew SDM Flicks and was like, hey, Hey, I see you looking for somebody for your special, the Verdict Comedy Special, which is out right now on SDM Flicks. Um, and so I met up with them. They were very professional. They came and uh, filmed the, the Verdict podcast, the Verdict uh, comedy show. And from there on out, we've been in business. Definitely. Go stream that. You know what I'm saying? Download it. Whoever got to go. You know, you're very funny. We had the, uh, what is it, the Big Detroit comedy show the other mm-hmm. day? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You did your thing. You had us laughing like a motherfucker. Thank you. I love your your raunchy comedy style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, raunchy exactly. comedy style. I love it. I love <laughs> yeah, it. I love thank it. You. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it's crazy because I was getting ready to go to that show, but I'm like, who? You know, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm like, who is Judge Miles? I ain't never oh, I ain't heard of her. Heard of you and I didn't go. You <laughs> feel me? But then I'm like, hold up, we on the same shit. I'm like, oh man, damn, I feel bad. You feel me? That's good. But it is. But it yeah, is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We finally got a chance to meet. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Now you said. Now, how would you describe your your comedic style? Um, my comedy style is, like I said, real raw, raunchy. I got a little bit of some more mixed with a little bit of Adele Givens, mixed with a little bit of Bernie Mac, mixed with a lot of Mike. So that's all motherfuckers that cuss all day. You know what I'm saying? They they some straight to your face. You yeah, know, mixed cussing. with a lot of Mike Epps with the goofiness in it. So okay. that would be my comedy style. Just, you know, say how I feel. I'm not apologizing. Comedy is a sport. It's an mm-hmm. art. And we got into this culture where everything is so touch and go. Everybody's so sensitive. And unfortunately, I'm not uh, going to be abiding by those rules. I'm going to stick with comedy because that limits your artistic 
values. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad you want you and everything because comedy has, you know what I'm saying, gotten real sensitive, you know, and uh, it just seems like, just like boxing, there's not no more boxers out there. You know, you got to watch the same boxer over and over. So when you see the same comedians, it's like, damn, is there anybody else funny? I damn near started comedy, you know, started to do comedy now because I'm a no holds bar type of guy when I talk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything is like, hey, you need to be a comedian. I'm like, I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> I'm just telling facts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it is what it is, you know. So, yeah, I'm glad you are here. We need to keep the comedians going on and represent for the ladies. Thank you. Appreciate Definitely, it. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? You do have a lot of Samori in you. When I was watching, I'm like, yeah, she's right. Be a Samori like a motherfucker. I love Samori. Yeah, she's definitely. One of the com- comedians that I definitely think is a role model. That's she don't sure. know it yet, though. Okay, then. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Well, we're going to switch it over to the. Hey, hey, I had to do that one time. Don't worry, Clay, this motherfucker. Where your mic at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Man. Yeah, man. So, you know, I've been wanting to ask this question. Like I said, my old boy called me from Atlanta. He was like, man, man, I wanted to get to hey, real quick with you. <laughs> I said, dad, this man is, is, is. So when did you start singing? Sinning? Singing. Oh, I was about to say that. No, nah, we all sinning here. No, no, no. Singing. Yeah, uh, you know, I had to say it like a white boy. Man, keep it a buck, man. Uh, I kind of like grew up in it. Mm-hmm. Um. My whole family on my mom's side is have something to do with singing or any type of music gospel wise. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like grew up in church and all that. I never sung in no choirs or mm. uh, nothing like that. I just grew up around it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Um, when I first realized I could sing, I just always was just like walk through the hallways of school and just harmonize and. I thought it was cool. I was kind of, you know, I was a man child too. I was always big. I had facial hair at 10. You feel what I'm saying? So okay. I just thought I was somebody and I thought I was doing something when I'd just be walking through the hallway singing. And I was kind of popular from sports and things of that nature. So I, I was, and I was a ladies' man. So that, that was part of my whole little uh, ladies' man act, for lack of better words, you okay. know? Okay. Um, and that's how it happened. I I never intend I never uh, anticipated me being as big as I am as far, or having the success I've had with. Uh, being a singer, so uh, mm-hmm. I probably figured it, all this out at the age of fourteen, fifteen, when I first made uh, the first song I ever made was "Fell Off." Mm. That was my very first song that I ever okay. made. So yeah. when did you start with the? Hey, you know what I'm saying? We we because that motherfucker's a trademark. Man. Yeah. That, that came, AA came. I never took singing classes. Right. So in the midst of me, and like to this day, I never do the same AA. I mm-hmm. don't, I, I, I could never mimic it. It's mm-hmm. however many times I ever said, I never mimic it. Um, it really just came for me to catch the beat, for like okay. a better words. It was uh, it was just a trendy way for me to have a, uh, for me not only to catch the beat, as well as find my pitch on the beat. Because I've oh. never had a singing class, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never found out about notes, or, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. Right, right, right. Um, that's how AA came about, so. Okay. Yeah. Nah, you've been in the lineup of uh, what they say, Anita Baker, man, and Sheesh. Aretha Franklin. Yeah, man. In Detroit, right. you see what I'm saying? That, that, yeah. How'd you feel when they put that, that list together? So, key with a thousand. I'm good. Right. Don't get the shit to this. I'm good. <laughs> but I'm good. But I am nowhere near Anita Baker and Aretha Franklin. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, 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 right. I, I got to give flowers and roses where they're due, man. They are living legends. Well, they are legends. Um. I'm glad to be on the plat. I'm glad to be on the platform with them. Um, I think the I think the fans was more on the lines of uh, impact um, yeah. when they when they put me in that category um, for being up there with them. You know what I'm saying? The impact that I've had on the city and around the world. Just be honest with you, um, and I'm grateful for that. That's that was an honor. I wish they would have picked a better picture to put up. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, got me, they got me in a white beater sitting on a car. You feel me? Right. Yeah, you know I'll take it. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was definitely legendary, though. That's what's up. Now, I was watching your Forum Magazine interview. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Forum Magazine. And uh, I heard that you said you was a contractor. Yeah, man. So I got um, I got a couple different things going on right now. I got a box truck company I'm running. I got a 26-foot box truck. Okay. Um, I also have uh, some co- uh, a contract with um, on the construction side with some apartments that, you know, we go in, we cut them out, we refurbish them, we put them back together, um, painting, drywalling. Uh, toilets, whatever it takes, you know, for, you know, to make the success happen. So I, I got a good team. Uh, my brother is, my brother is the main head honcho of it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and we just we we make it work, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we anything to build greater success outside of the streets, man. The streets dead, man. So yeah, definitely. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, is there anything that you want to shout out as far as that? You know what I mean? Because you know it's all um, networking right now. I mean, I don't I don't really want to. Sh- I don't know how to shout none of that out. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this this is all about doing tail, man. It's more. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We. We we're working, man. We not we 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 moving. We not just sitting static. You know what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. not talking about it. We just moving, man. And one thing I will say, one thing I will say about um, one thing I will say like about Detroit right now is even in the rap game, a lot of the artists here are stepping up to the plate and being leaders as far as um trying to change the trajectory of everything with music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We, you know, you got PZ promoting put the guns down. You got Vezo showing he buying property. You know what I'm saying? It's everybody is showing growth, man, and and, and prosper and trying to show prosperity within the yeah. black community. And that's I, you know, I'm mm-hmm. not a black activist, but I am. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, I love to see my people doing good. You know what I'm saying? I love to see yeah. an uplifting I love to see that we are uplifting each other. You know what I'm saying? The positive yeah, definitely, way. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Cause that you keep it in the community, man. Yeah, you keep that it. money. You keep that paper in the community, yeah. man. You, you know, we want to teach one. You, you take yeah. care of your people. We are our people, and that's the problem. Every other race takes care of their people. Yeah, facts. We have to learn how to take care of each other because we all we got at the end of the day, and facts. we can do it. Me one, we got teach enough one. power. If we just stood together, we could overcome all of this. Are we? But that, it, I was just reading something that said, you know, in like the next twenty, maybe thirty years, we will be. We will be the. Um, the majority, yeah. you feel what I'm saying, as well as probably the wealthiest, because yeah. we already have been that, you know, in our past years. Yeah. But even now, we 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 will be going, we will be we will be doing bigger things in the next twenty or thirty it's years. You know what I'm saying? We already royal, the royal, the blood is royal. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We Facts. already that. We was kings and queens. They tried to tell us we weren't, but Facts. we were. We Facts. are, and we coming out. You can't hide from your true nature. Eventually, it's gonna come out. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly, man. That's it. That's all I'm on, bro. That, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go for prosperity, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get some money and take care of my family, yeah, man. That's, that's what it is. Is. That's what it legacy, is. Man. Now, how was it doing a Little Caesars Arena? Oh, man, that was incredible, man. It was an amazing feeling, man. Something, um, you know, you know, we, me being a dope boy, we always carried the arrogant asshole kind of persona, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we used to a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? That ain't the first time we performed it in front of a bunch of people. It mm-hmm. may have been the first time in a few years. Um, a sold-out event, 22,000 people or something like that showed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a little controversy in the beginning. Everybody asked about, you know, whether or not we was going to do it or not. You know, uh, shout-out to uh, folks who dug, you know what I'm saying? He had went mm-hmm. live. Yeah, he sure. went live. He uh, not, only put in, not only did he put together one hell of an event and gave – Man, I don't think it was nobody who really made history in Detroit that wasn't there or on the stage that he, you know, gave flowers, man. And I think that was a beautiful thing. But, um, you know, everybody thought the controversy was going to keep us from coming. You know, he had went live and, you know, said a bunch of things. But it was just a miscommunication type situation when we got there. It was all love. It was all rectified. Um, and of course, I, I don't want to sound biased, but you know what side did. You know we did our thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, where your mic at, dude? Side. Side. Yeah. 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 I gave it to my husband. Don't do that. Don't yeah. even do that, because the east side in here real tough. Don't yeah. do that. Hey, it's look, all I, love, though. I love the east side. I love Shout the east out to Sada. You hear me? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one on all sides, you know, because God is in everything. I know that's right. You better talk about God. To be honest, you know, we all one nation. That's under God' authority. You know, no matter who, where, how, you know, we 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 keeping the strength, we keeping the power. So it's not about the West. It's not about the East. It's about the Holy Spirit take care of us, waking us up every morning. Bingo, bingo, Thank you. bingo. That's bingo. But we we was we was talking out of fun and game, just being Detroit. <laughs> In Detroit, man. You know, I love both sides. You yeah. know, I they, came they, up they, in the project, they, 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 came they, up they, on Dexter, they, so they, I put it all together in this one big apple for me. Bingo, bingo, so. bingo, definitely. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, bingo. definitely. Yes, sir. Uh, Mo Money Diva, you got a nice little fashion show going on. 
Oh, yeah. I got a couple of things going on. I know I'm just sitting back here relaxing. Chilling, chilling. You know I am. Yeah, you I'm know, just hey, listening. You, and, good you know. What's going on with the fashion show and when is it? Oh, the fashion show is May 18th. It's coming along good. The models are looking beautiful. We sure. just had rehearsal today. So okay. those kitties was in line. They was Wait. working those legs. So mm. definitely go get your ticket. Um, the where, flyer is where, on my where it be play. Located? Where is it located at? It's going to be in Warren. So um, the flyer is on my page at Mo Money Diva. Or my Facebook at Nadine Robinson. So you could get the ticket from the flyer. And it's going to be a nice event. So, you know, you guys come out, enjoy, have some dinner, see a beautiful show. Food coming and, there? Oh, yeah. Food. <laughs> Lie, you got to yeah. so like the egg, yeah. though. You have like to the egg. Food. Is That's food there? Yeah. Drinks? Oh, no, no. Is okay. It, is it home cooked food or are we doing? No, just... it's going to be catered. It's going to be nah, catered. That, that, that still might suffice. It might. <laughs> 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 that might suffice. I'm thinking. I'm trying to get some homemade mac and cheese. Oh, little, you know, snap. maybe some That's barbecue a home chicken meal or something. Right you there. Yeah, maybe some brains. Yeah. Yeah. It's May 18th, so. Tap into my page, Mo Money Diva. Get your ticket now. It's going to be a beautiful event. You got the fashion show uh, August 25th, too, in New York. Yeah, is that in New York? That's in Queens, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. Yeah, we'll be there. Yes. And that's birthday month, so it's going down. It don't stop, you know what I mean? Uh, Doughboy Clay, man, one of my favorite songs is Real Nigga Av. Yeah. I fuck with that, you know what I'm saying? That chorus. I said, Dad, that bitch bag, you know what I'm saying? Tell me a little bit uh, about that. Um... Real Nigga F was produced by uh, Cook the Cash Cow. Okay. Me and Cook. Uh, the, once again, it's the east side. You feel yeah, yeah, I know Cook. So, uh, Studio 17, I know Cook. Bingo. So, I, um, man, you know, just at the time, I was young. I was still thugging. I was still, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, in the streets heavy. Um, we had a lot of things that was going on and. Sometimes when you make music, it be based off your feelings and what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. A lot of the stuff I was going through back then was uh, majority of my music is what I'm going through, how I'm feeling. I don't care whether it's a banger. I don't care. It be my feelings. It's somebody gonna be late to me. And I um I always made I always made music based upon that. So that's how Real Nigga Avenue came along. Um, uh, I was going through that situation. I was going through that. That's like you know mm-hmm. putting everything on the floor and you know uh. Cook just so happened to bless it, man. It made it even more classic. You feel yeah, me? So, yeah, yeah. and I and I hung. I was on the east side. I was over there hanging over there on Seven Mile. <laughs> you feel me? It was beautiful. You know, I'm yeah. a West Side Seven Mile baby. You feel okay. me? Okay. And it, it just feels good when you can go in anywhere in your city and get the same love and respect. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Cook Cash and, and the whole family, uh, and shout out to the whole East Side too. They like show me love over there. That's a bet. That's a bet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, comedian Judge Miles, you have a lot of East Side West Side jokes and stuff like that that I I hear about. You know what I'm saying? I'm an East Side guy too. You feel me? So I fuck with it. Uh, what is it? You know, like I said, I'm from California. You feel me? I came out here in '99 or whatever, and I didn't really know about the the East Side West Side shit like that. You know, so everybody thought I was from the West Side. You feel me? When I came out here, because I don't know. I guess I looked a certain way. I don't know whatever it was. You feel me? Type shit, but. What is it that make you make those those type of jokes? They funny as hell. But have you ever pissed somebody off, you know what I mean, about the West Side, East Side? No, you want to know shit? why? Because the part about comedy is a lot, uh, this is what I do. I come to make you feel good. I'm there not go. there to talk about you, dog you out, start an argument. You never know what people going through. And in the city of Detroit, we going through a lot of stuff. We trying to grind. We trying to really? get it. A lot of us that started off, we ain't even on the same level playing field as a lot of the, our counterparts. So we, we trying to catch up. So when somebody comes out to see me, mm. I just want to bring them into my life. My life was, I was... I lived on the east side, grew up in the King homes, went to Cass Tech, you know, was an east side Raider, went to Michigan State, all those things. And so in those experiences, skated on the east side, still skate to this day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You want to, yeah, you just want to bring that, bring people into your life because a lot of times people don't know about the east side. When they think about the east side, they think of it being so hardcore and so this, but it's real niggas over there. It's real women over there that's loyal over there. You know what I'm saying? That's grinding over there. And so I want them to know. Roses in the concrete. Exactly. 
Like, and so I want them to know that when you come over there, yeah, them niggas might have their clothes on for two and three days, but they grinding. <laughs> they grind. Then they change their drawers. Though. <laughs> you feel me? That's the, difference, that's the difference between the west side and the east side. I ain't going to lie. Them niggas will be up there. niggas will wear a dicky fit for five days. Five Damn. days straight. But it's full, full of money. money. Oh, wrong. Oh, wrong. It's full of I money. I love for And them. I love the west side because, like I say in my, in my jokes, the west side, they put that shit on. You know that's what I'm saying? You know they got mamas and daddies over there. They're a little bit more bougie. Right, than we are. Don't get it twisted. You it's the west side. Yeah. Yeah. But wait a minute. Don't they grind. They grind for sure. We had, we had grind. mamas and daddies. Some of them had mamas and daddies. Mamas Some of them daddies. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. we was raised by kingpin. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I heard Keith say that shit. I was like, that. that's the real talk. Look, and, you know what's so crazy? And they'll shoot the shit out you. I tell that all the time. Facts. They ain't fighting. Ain't no West Side nigga fighting. They, they just shooting with you switch. first, and they'll talk switch about it later. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Let's talk about it. That's one thing. That's one thing I love about Keys and Peasy relationship because they literally make these kind of jokes and it be kind of harsh because Keys made a joke on the stage like, "Man, we was raised by cream pins, not crackheads." You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just an inside joke between Peasy and Keys, and they right. actually Peasy came back with his jokes. It was fun. Yeah, man. yeah, it's fun, man. I love, I love the, I love the fact that because. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's the first time in history, but we all like kind of like united on some real. Like if, if, if you're yeah, paying attention real. to the music industry, even the streets, we still got a lot of shit going on in the streets. But for the most part, we united, man. We having fun around this bitch, and everybody really having their way, you know, in their own way. Yeah, yeah. And it's so much talent, so it's it's not no use. See, that's what happened. I, I was a Cheddar girl. I love the East Side Cheddar Boys, and I also absolutely love Street Lords. Street like Lord. I know Wine, I yeah. knew Blade, like. I love them. I was a street lord girl as far right. as like the music. I'm yeah. not talking about right. them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The music. Exactly. And so um it was just so sad to see how that crumbled yeah. before they was really even able to make it, make it. Like they Facts. made it here, but they didn't really make it, make, make it. it. Yeah. And then, you know, Blade got murdered yeah. and that just shut the city down. Facts. So it's nice to see that now the new generation of the street lords yeah. and the and the East Side Cheddar, Cheddar Boys, boys yeah. it's a new addition. It's the Dope the Boys, boys the team it's Team East Side. East Side. Yeah. It's all of these, and it's so beautiful to see them come together instead of fighting because the people want the music. Facts. They don't want the drama. Fact. We don't, I don't get no it twisted. They yet. want drama too, though. They ain't, don't get yeah. it twisted. Yeah, but, yeah. but we ain't promoting drama, man. Yeah, we that promote, ain't we're promoting that. success, man. And unity. Yeah. Speaking of success and unity. Alpha Diaries. I got my husband here today. All right now. Fire book, dog. I literally just... You want me to introduce it? Because like, uh, Alpha Diaries, y'all. This is my husband's book. His name is Kyrie M. Beckham. He's an author as well as right a preacher. You know, I got to have a lord. And he got a little bit of hood right in him. Oh, yeah. But this book right here, Alpha Diaries, it's going to change your life. It's not just for women. It's for... I mean, not just for men. It's for women as well. This book right here is teaching men all over the world how to become leaders Fact. within their households That's and how fire. to be a leader within themselves to be self-sufficient because... Because a lot of men, I, I heard this the other day, they serial dating to escape trauma, right? right. But they don't got themselves together. This book no is teaching you, you got to have yourself together. You got to be on there your go. purpose. You got to focus on God there before you, go. you even yeah. able okay. to be in a relationship. So I just wanted, that I wanted to shout that book out. My baby here today, uh, no Amazon, Sunday. as well as Barnes & Noble. Okay, we at church today. Like 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 my baby said, uh, a lot of fellas really don't have that role model for us, like the father figure. And so a lot of times in our community, we start off already behind eight ball. And so uh, I wanted to get, get this book out to help fellas out how to be leaders in, in their community and in society, uh, to build them up because so many people are trying to tear us down. And like the sister said, uh, we are the real people. All right, we are royalty. No matter what lies they're trying to put out here, no social program they're trying to put out here, we are the real people of the book. And once you know that, your mindset begins to change. And when you know better, you start doing better. So Facts. that's why I'm trying to get the Facts. information out to my people. Make sure I get Amen. one, bro. Like, like, get rid of all the beta men. See, we too many beta men. Uh, soft. This gender role thing, we trying to make sure that... Uh, <laughs>
we trying to make sure that, you know, when we talk about gender roles, it get a little crazy because everybody <laughs> think of just being controlling because the, the black man is the only man that's not able to run his household. When he decides to run his household, then he's being controlling. You correct? Yeah, correct. And so this book right here is teaching us that the, the proper form, the proper order is the man follows God and the woman follows, follows the man. man. Period. Bingo. It don't go the other way. We have got lost somewhere around here so where the women wear all the pants and the men wearing the skirts and it is the man fault to be honest with you uh, well, because he ain't put his ain't foot no, he, I ain't gonna lie, we, hold on I'm gonna tell you why the, okay. let me tell you why okay, it's the tell. man's fault because if the man said no I'm not gonna accept this horrorism out of you mm-hmm. if the man stopped and said no I'm not gonna have sex with somebody else's wife if mm-hmm. the man put down rules and regulations we would not be out of order okay. we out of order because y'all allow us to be out of order okay now this is my thing to say That's about that saying. I just have have one controversy kind of let's <laughs> okay. go next. Okay. It ain't even controversy. It's just, you know, good okay. debate. Um, technically speaking, I agree with a hundred percent of what you said. For this generation. Yeah. Maybe. But it all started way before our time. Come on. We now. were slaves. The men were being taken from their oh, homes. Yeah, I agree. 100%. The men were being raped by masters, being, you know, snatching yeah, literally sure. who we are, yeah. our, our our dignity, our pride. How we raised our family, how we cared for our family, and then what don't make it even better is in what the seventies. They that's when you know um, welfare and all of that came into the picture. So now you they removed the man from the household. Absolutely. So, they, so men couldn't be men, mm-hmm. and now you have these women who stepping in trying to be a man and raise a man, and they got all these. You got these men or. For lack of better words, males. boys, males, just male. They you know, just males. running around thinking they're men with all these feminine energy and emotional. You know, they don't even know how to be men. So but see, that's why you have to spread the awareness because it's an agenda being pushed. That's what Alpha Diaries about? So we have to, we have to wake up. The woke people have to wake the rest of us and let it. You know, it's 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 hurt women out here raising little girls to be disrespectful to, to their daddies yeah, and men. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So we have to check ourselves and we have to spread the awareness to our community. Facts. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I was just gonna say something. Go ahead, baby. Uh, I agree with uh, what he said, uh, but all at the same time, in the, in the 70s and the 60s. We was more married during that time. Mm-hmm. We didn't start getting divorced, and the rate of divorce didn't start uh, escalating until we start uh, integrating. So we always uh, start thinking that what the white man doing, what the white woman doing was going to work for us, but it didn't. And so we allowed them to come in and to divide us. And once they started dividing us, then that's why we got the broken homes, the uh, kids. The feminism at at all time high. The family structure in order to destroy. That's what you do. You kill the family structure. So now it's not the man and the woman in the head of the household raising the family. It's the woman. Sometimes you got the woman and the woman. No no offense to anybody, but you have two women. You know what I'm saying? Raising and they growing up and seeing this. You know what I'm saying? And you got this woman with all these different baby daddies that done been with this man, this man. And then she's hurt. Spirits, man. That's another thing. Yeah. Thing, man, you yeah. know, yeah. believe it or not, what they you stay- lay down with it yeah. never That's leaves what, you. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That yeah. connection is technically real. So yeah. when you land down with multiple men, you still yeah. picking up some Take of them energies experience. and spirits. Yeah. Yeah. But let's be honest, y'all. A lot of y'all don't want to admit, and I'm gonna stick to it. And y'all got to be able to listen to the perspective before y'all jump on it. Men are men for a reason. They was put Fresh. here to lead. Fresh. And even though we've been through all of the things that we've been through, and I'm not negating any of that, you still have a, a big majority of men right now not putting on those leadership pants. And even though we are saying that we want all of these things from these women, the reason that it's so much chaos is because the fathers is not in the household. They didn't left. They, 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 they didn't left. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. But but was it not they fought that you did not choose correctly? That you went after a fat ass? That you claim that you don't want the black woman to have? Not you, but yeah. I'm just saying the black man. He yeah. claimed he don't want the black woman to have it, but that's what he chose. He didn't look at her intellect. He didn't look at her background, but he, he busted in her, right? He, he laid, had a child by, and he then he left for her. a good time, not a long time. That's what I'm saying. made a mistake world where it's literally like 28 states that ban abortion so where that put man and woman the day in the body and it's changed even though it's population control what we fail to realize if i'm gonna sleep with somebody and i gotta tell you get on birth control 90 times nine 90 times out of 10 
you shouldn't be sleeping with her. If I got to tell you, get on birth control. If I got to tell you, right. And so a lot of women don't understand it. You right. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of easy ease out here just laying with everybody and, you know what I'm saying, just having babies with any and everything. And then later on, like, she got on my nerves. I ain't messing with her no more. You have to be she mindful. Like she yep, but yep. But exactly there's no morals anymore so ain't nobody thinking of who you is when you man. drunk and you and you just find you some of that cutty but this, I, is, the hey, whole, look, this is the whole thing but you still gotta we we created a poor situation in our, in our, in our it, it has it, it so has created the a poor is, it's the morals it's, it's no more however morals. i'm not gonna lie we i'm not making no excuse for us as men no, what I'm, I'm just, I'm, I just love making a healthy debate. I just make, so I love the fact of everything that what you said, and it's actually true. But a lot of these men never had a real example of a man because that man was gone. And wherever Pops laid his head was his home. That's now, we only saying. speaking for the last maybe 20 years, but let's talk about 50, 60, 70 years ago where, the, where the man actually wanted to be a part, wanted to be at home, wanted to be a father to his kids, and couldn't because of, for lack of better words, race, racism or um, welfare. welfare. It's just so many other, it's, it's so, and then you had men that were growing up who wanted to be men, didn't know how to be a man, and they were still just out here, for lack of better words, loose dicking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, it's still, yeah, but it's still that was being pushed. They put the drugs. They put the cocaine. We didn't go over there and get the cocaine in our city. They went and started putting the cocaine in the neighborhoods and doing that. They brought that in. That made crackheads crack heads and crack babies. And now the father's missing out of the families. It's all been an agenda from a long time ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the ones who wasn't on crack were selling crack, and they was getting locked up and having these lifelong sentences. So that was keeping the father. It's been an agenda being pushed for a long time. That's why I said it's about now we're in the age of a Awareness. Everybody, everything that's done into the, the dark will come into the light. And now it's time for us as people, you know, we got a lot of influenced people right Let's here step on the panel talking. Yeah, yeah, step up and start spreading awareness and telling and informing. You know what I'm saying? People say what you don't know don't hurt. What you don't know will and it, it will hurt you. It can and will hurt you. But that's I why. encourage men to put their foot down. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if y'all don't put y'all foot down, it's only gonna get worse. Horrorism is gonna increase, the baby's gonna increase, the disrespect gonna increase. Y'all have to let it be known. I'm a man. You're not going to disrespect me. It don't have to be violently. You're not going to disrespect me. If you're going to be my woman, you're going to act a certain way. You're going to represent yourself a certain way. You're going to dress a certain way and stand on business. Y'all right. standing on business for bullshit. Stand on business for generational legacies to be right. left. Right. Because so, when you study the scripture, like I said, I'm an advocate for the scripture. And when you study the scripture in Jeremiah chapter 32, it prophesies in the last day that a woman was going to surpass a man. And you see that do the Jim Crow law. You see that do uh, slavery, this and that and other. But at the same time, uh, the, the prophet prophesied that because leaders as men fail to step up and be leaders. Uh, it all come back to making decisions. We got to make wise decisions. And when we get back to the point where we make wise decisions, then a lot of the mess will stop. For example, if a woman is acting up, uh, or or being like she said in holism, and then you say, "Listen, I'm, I'm not gonna deal with that." Well, you know what she's gonna say? Well, I can go up the street. He gonna allow it. Yeah. But, if they, but 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 it go back to what the young lady said. If there's standards, if all men keep the same standards, keeping the same laws and commandments, then they can't cut up. It you can't go down the street, right? Together, it forces us to say, "Well, maybe this skirt is too short. Well, maybe I am showing too much titties." But all the niggas is with it. They like BBL crazy, and they wonder why everybody BBL out. <laughs> Most men of this generation was they didn't they wasn't raised with fathers. They don't know what a man is. Right. You get what I'm saying? Facts. It's only a hand. You, we we're still neglecting the fact that we we have men men that are traumatized. Yeah. We, we have men that are dealing with hurts and pains right, that right. They, they, they have not healed from and that was passed down for generations. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to be a man. So what's the, what's so the you, what we going to do? The, the only, me personally, it starts now. It just starts now. And, and, no, it, it starts, starts within, in the community. Yeah, it, 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 so it starts now in the community. One, well, reach one, reach, teach reach one, one, teach one. So we just For keep example, going, that's it. I've been, I, I, my son was left with me when he was six months. I'm a strong father. I'm a strong advocate for the black man. Every friend of mine, I'm, I'm not a friend to you if I don't tell you, go pick your son up. I'm not a friend to you. Yeah, you feel me? I'm not or a friend to you. Or tell you where your kids get, is yeah. at if they I'm ran away. That you. ain't no I'm not a friend way. to you if I'm not going to help you when you down or you out and you trying to do for your kids. I'm not a friend to you. I'm a motivator and I'm a, I believe in motivating my, my people, my peers. And as long as I can control my environment, 
with doing so, with doing something great, as far as being a father to your kid, I'm pretty sure nine times out of ten they can step into their own other environments and do the same thing. Now the catch is is just making sure that everybody is on the same page. Right. right. You get what but, I'm saying? but to get on the same page, like I, I notice in my ministry and what I'm trying to do, when you bring in people truth, right? Facts. They don't want to hear it. Of course. And, and the people the of people course. will fight against the one that's trying to help the and you community. Know what's so crazy? Even in, in in the midst of them battling, it's still in the back of their mind. You feel what I'm saying? They was right. That they was right. And at the end of the day, when a person know that it's it's some truth and it's right behind it, regardless of the fact but you have to find a way to tell people about themselves without Some people just don't want to hear it though. No, it, uh, some people just don't want to hear it. We still deal we still de- we still dealing with trauma. Y'all gotta remember, we still dealing with trauma. And sometimes just being blunt and honest, I don't care who you are. Or what you going through, I don't care if you the biggest demon out of them all. You taking, you gonna hear that. You gonna constantly hear them words repeat of the truth. You gonna hear the truth repeat constantly over and over in your head. Mm-hmm. Now you could be, for lack of better words, defiant or delusional and not want to take heed. But at the end of the day, at some point, if you a human, you are gonna follow. You are gonna follow the proper protocols. You gonna, right. but you gotta allegedly, allegedly, hopefully. But but I, I agree a lot with what you're saying. But like I said, I I done preach uh, in a whole bunch of different places, and one thing we can't do is we can't allow trauma to be our excuse. All right, because you, you got be over fear. your trauma. You can't be fear. I got over my trauma. You got on your trauma. Right, right. And then, and and I was reading an article the other day that's saying that uh, the need for therapists is at an all time high. And people going to therapy is at an all-time high. But the question is, if all these people going to therapy to deal with their trauma, why is nothing changing with their lifestyle? They go back to what my man said. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. You know, I was like myself. I ain't been in a relationship eight months, right? Okay. But the thing is, i always been truthful to that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I never stuck away from it. But when you can't listen, it's time for me to go. Right. Because I'm not going to let my higher self drop down to your lower self. Yeah. Right. The Bible says so as a man thinks. So why would I think your way and I know I'm living right? And if I can't listen to you, then you can't lead me. You can't even protect me if you if I can't listen to you. And that's what women don't understand. But see, the thing <laughs> is, and I'm going on, I'm going on this side. When we picking up this weed, these bottles, and I'm not knocking nobody because I don't care what people do. I'm gonna keep my energy safe. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I'm healthy. I'm good. But when you got all these women out here turning up constantly. Their mind is destroyed by the devil, yeah. by this, Thanks. by that. The best friend, oh, girl, you don't need this, you don't need that. Uh-huh. And, and that's where things get wrong yeah. at. Yeah. Because if, 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 if I'm looking out for you and I'm not asking you for nothing but a little pop, pop, that's it. That's all I'm looking for. I don't need nothing else. I, casino tell me all the time, and I just stopped doing it. I used to come out the house, how much in my pocket, casino? Every, a day. But that came to a limit to my brother saying, look, Tighten it down. But when you in the streets, the devil had you. But myself, I had to learn to tone a lot of things down. But if you can't listen to me, it's time for me to pick up my suitcase and grab everything. Absolutely. Women don't want to listen because they, they chasing this liquor, this weed, in them clubs. I'm a t- I'm a t- Everybody chasing a, new, a better lifestyle, and what they don't know is you're just going about it the wrong way. But if you, you want a better saying? lifestyle, Nobody. you got to get in that Bible. Yeah. Period. That part. And it ain't, in, self, it ain't in the club. And, the and you have to get right like with that. yourself completely. Yeah. Like you had to, That's why I always, I'm big on getting your chakras in order and tightening yourself up. The energies in your body, if you are out of whack, you're going to keep running into the same situation with different people, but it's going to be the same thing until you get your mind and your body and your soul right. I've learned that through life. Like, I've ran into certain things because I kept doing the same thing and expecting different results. But when I started taking accountability for my actions and looking at my behavior and looking at, Absolutely. why am I attracting this? Why am I doing this? Why yeah. that? It's time for me to look change. within myself. Yeah. yeah. And when you look within yourself Growth. and make that change and grow, then you stop attracting the riffraff and, and dealing with that. And you start respecting yourself and standing on what you mean. And that's when you're going to attract the appropriate energy to yourself. I want to give y'all an example real quick. My um, I got a cousin. She younger than me. And so I was seeing her hang hanging out with like you know uh rappers and she every time it was like a skillet baby party she was there and and she wear and she 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 built right thick but her own body but she only like 19 she come from 
she lame for real, not trying to be funny. So she shouldn't even be in these environments, but she there, right? And she she got on little bitty shorts, little bitty skirts. And so she put up on Facebook. I'm watching her Facebook. She put up on Facebook. Now I'm t- I seen her taking pictures all like this and down and like all type of stuff. And so this particular day she put up on Facebook, just because I got on this stuff don't mean that you can touch my ass. Well, so I I went in her te- I went in her messenger because I'm her big cuz. You know what I'm saying? Even though I have matured, I have grown, I'm a I'm a lady of the of scriptures, I still like to have a good time because be- loving God is lit. You feel me? But when you wiser, you do better. So I come to her as her big homie, like, hey, I'm like, hey, cuz you right. Them niggas should not have touched you, however, the way that you dressed it is it is permitting them it is it is welcoming them Revoking. it is yeah to, to to feel like they can touch you and not to mention all of the pictures you take you coming off as a raunchy hoe so that's how they gonna treat you she blocked me i believe it and I, told me how and, and, and dare say you this. say that that's right that a man can touch me she missed the whole thing and i'm like if you don't want to be looked at as a hoe change how you dress facts and, and, and I, I'm finna drop this method on. Look, if it's a pink elephant walking down the street, what everybody gonna do? They don't look. So if you change your body language and change the thinking that God didn't put in that thing, change it. Right. Let the devil stop creating them bad thoughts in your head. Stop right. putting on that rap, going to sleep with it, and put a vibe verse on while you're going to sleep. Period. Period. Put on something that's 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 gonna pull you into a good sleep, not wake you up talking about I need a blunt. Excuse me, I don't care what y'all think. I'm not bad that. <laughs> and even if I'm you is gonna listen to, even if you listen to, because I'm a I'm a rap person. Even if you is gonna listen to some rap, be wise enough to know that this shit is just their job. Yeah, and it's yeah, not it's real insane. life. Some, some yeah. of these niggas is lying. They ain't shot nobody. They ain't got nobody. It just sound good and it rhyme. So you gotta have wisdom too. You can't put all that on. The rap community yeah, or music, yeah, even yeah. though the devil is in that, you know. To go back to what he's saying, the scripture in Sirach chapter 19 said, You better say man it. Man clothed and show what he is. So a lot of people don't realize certain stuff that you put on, you begin to take the spirit of it. Yeah. That's why out in Hollywood, I call it Hollywood, out in Hollywood, like them actors, when they mm-hmm. play on roles so much, they end up becoming that. Exactly. And so that's the same way with clothes and whatnot. So we 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 got to change. And that's why the Bible <laughs> speaks about wearing certain garment. Yeah. You don't suppose... To be honest, you're supposed to be showing your hair. My man tell me this every day. He like, no, he like, I'm gonna let God work on you. I'm like, ah, this is getting fact. crazier. Because <laughs> when you know better, you what? You do better. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's why you have to constantly be careful what you feed in your soul. Absolutely. You know and all that demonic stuff that's out here, we can't be a part of. You can't be participating in it. You have to stay away. <laughs> he got it all. He got his. <laughs> he go where he is. Yeah. For my birthday, it's so crazy. My lady threw me a surprise birthday party, right? And she had me pick out my outfit. She had all this mapped out. I didn't. I didn't even. <laughs> Sound I was like so a good oblivious. woman. Yeah, I was so oblivious. I didn't know what was going on. But she showed up with the turban. I got so many compliments for the turban. Little did she know she inspired me because I was already in motion to protect my crown. Right. I was already in motion That's to cover the, my head, my feet. You know what I'm saying? Ground myself. So I'm big on energy. I talk all day long. But. Definitely protect your crown, man. <laughs> and I'm going to tell y'all something, ladies, if y'all watching. Being submissive is one of the strongest traits you can possibly have because you have to learn how to follow. You have to learn. Say that. You, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling y'all because a lot of, I'm an alpha woman myself and I'm with an alpha man. But this, but the man has showed me that he's, he's God-fearing and that he is going to lead me to success. So I'm willing to walk blindly with him, right? So even I have to answer to my husband when I come home. I just did that comedy show. I had on that little bitty skirt. He wasn't there. I get home, he see the pictures. Look, he see the pictures. (laughs) He see the pictures everywhere. He takes me like, oh, you really pushed it with that skirt. I'm like, (laughs) <laughs> but here's the thing I didn't give him no back talk because guess what the reason behind that is this I'm not there and if a nigga grab you or touch you you gonna want me to protect you but you out here wearing shit you ain't got no business wearing so I instantly had to humble myself and say I'm gonna throw the skirt away it's in the garbage if you ain't selling it if you ain't selling it <laughs> but it, it was a bad ass skirt though if you ain't selling it put it up that motherfucker, I was wearing that motherfucker. I wore that motherfucker. Look, they told me it was gonna be on TV. I was like, I'm wearing this motherfucker. Right, right, right. Shit, I need somebody. I need them to call me and be like, I like. Job well done. Definitely. 
Yeah. Yeah. When when you've been living and doing things a long time, absolutely. You know, you're going to relapse, and that's part of the recovery. But as long as you're going to go back, relapse happens. You are are mindful of what you're doing, and that's why you have to exercise your mind. Like you said, cut off the rap at night and start listening to some scripture and some peaceful music and meditation and getting your mind right and feeding your body and your soul with the positivity. So you know, hey, I'm weak. I've been doing this for a long time, but I'm changing. I'm changing. Give me some strength, Lord. Yeah, ask them for the grace because that's how I pray for you. And that's right, too, because when I was in my last relationship, I was in the house with four women. And it was like, no matter how much I preached, talk, I could not get away with nothing. (laughs) (laughs) They was on your ass. I did everything. I I came doing good stepfather things. But when you're not on the same page as the good book, it's it's not on go right. Absolutely, bro. You, you know? walking around with three thousand, four thousand dollars in your pocket too. Well, you, you, did, did, them girls was on you. But, but see, that's the them thing. ladies see, was on you. I was <laughs> a street person. You I know what's going person. on. It's still it is. You, know, you know, I talked about this all oh, yeah, on my most podcast. Definitely. Bird talk, bird TV. I have been in that lane before to come out with that into my cousin because he was like, man, tighten it down. He was just telling me the other day. Take this money out this account and put it in the business account. And I said, dang, you know, I don't argue because I knew he facts with me. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm going tomorrow to do all that. <laughs> Good. And that's the type of man we need. Exactly, yeah, though. I'm there. No, I, I do want to tell y'all something else. <laughs> I do want to tell y'all something else, Mom. Okay. I talk. We we often talk. We like to watch. Well, I like to make him watch some uh, shows, couple shows, and then we like to converse about them. Right. Um, first of all, it, it married to medicine. I love stuff like you know, love stuff like that, right? I like the I like the good black shows. Not okay. that's all completely ghetto and ratchet, okay? okay. And so, um, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. Uh, damn, I forgot what I was about to say. So, in the <laughs> I did, I did. I was about to tell y'all a whole story and forgot the story. Y'all go ahead and talk. No, so y'all. you started off saying you y'all started off watching these movies, so y'all can have good dialogue going back and forth. That's my words of it. Right, that was all right. And in the midst of us watching it, yeah, y'all converse. We converse, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what we was gonna say. Damn. I don't know. What I like that was good thought. I forgot what I was gonna say. I, I want to say this. Uh, I'm not going to say all together is wrong listening to rap this and that. You just got to make sure your spirit is in the right place when you're listening to that stuff because you get a lot of content. You get a lot of understanding of uh, where people are in the world. So you should listen to it so you may be able to help them, right? Uh, I don't recommend you going to sleep because the only thing that we can't stop from going into our spirit is words. Mm-hmm. You can stop everything else. You can stop food. You can go vegan, this and that. But the only thing you can't stop from getting in your spirit is words words and words come through music so if you ain't in the right place in the right frame of mind words and the music can have an impact on your spirit i know what i was about to say okay i'm gonna talk to the ladies real quick so ladies y'all know we've been black strong women we've been black strong women for so long right and then you meet a good man right you and we can say he a good man let's just say we know he a good man a good man. He provides. He follows God. He take care of his kids. He compassionate. He respectful. He loyal. All that, right? Okay. It's 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 in good. It's intact. And if it is a little mentally off, he dealing with it through God. Okay. Boom. So this type of guy. So you've been wearing what you want to wear. You've been doing what you want to do. Somebody be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, that's too short. Instantly inside of us, we got that. You ain't my fucking daddy, right? Bingo. But he told me something that hit home, and I just want to repeat it to any woman that's listening. He said, when that white man at work tell you it's a dress code, you don't you don't speak, you don't, you don't get shit nothing. to say. Bingo. When he put you in line, you fucking get right in line. <laughs> but I'm a black man in the house and can't get no respect from my woman. Not me. He just talked, you know, we watching TV. Thanks. And I said, you know what? You right. Yeah. Because why is it that we listen to everything the white man say? We come to work on time. We act a certain way. We dress a certain way. But when the man try to run his household, we don't want to hear shit he got to say. We the only ones that have the problem. I hate it. I but, hate it. But, I will say this, I, 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 I'm, and I'm, I hope and I pray for 
a better day in the chain. Me too. And I, and I believe it's coming. So you know what I'm Me saying? Me too. I believe well, it's coming. What? I like my little, you know, girls sometimes and I'm a little curly. You need to see my girl, you know. But I check with my man first. Yeah. Hey, I'm you is know this, okay? this yeah. <laughs> we together, is this appropriate? If he give me the check, and then I'm like, okay, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's all it is. I give him that respect, you know yeah. what I'm saying? If he was to say, No, I'll take that off, I would go in there and change, you know, and take it off. That's it. I have that respect. You have your friends like, oh, he controlling you. No, he's protecting you. Man, that though. That's the whole point. They ain't got one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know them black people? Don't care about you. you know because you can go with them and something happen, you know what they do? Hey, the lady, I'm gone. Period. Yep. Period. Yep. It's facts. Yep. Well, I ain't want to go deal with the police on it, but that was your friend. Mm -hmm. This is right. the person that you was chilling with. Mm -hmm. You asked her to go out. She didn't say, come get me. But you left it there. Mm -hmm. So when you're around people with that type of thinking, why would I even want to be with a person say, girl, your man, he watching the game. Let's go creep over here. What? And then you don't come back. <laughs> or you come back and I'm, I'm late as you, hell. People used to call me, man, bring me, bring me a 60. I was so stupid just to go chase the money. I, you think I do that now? Oh, man. I'm not going to lose my life. Or 60 go chicken wings? Over something like that. You did, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the real crispy chicken. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you talking that story? I'm, I'm just yeah. being facts and what's honest. Allegedly, we gonna say that. Allegedly, to camera. life is what oh, we knew. Tell you, you remember me when I was just coming on your show doing what I'm doing? But God has been so good to me. I'm blessed now. What made you want to come? Like, how did you convert from being in the streets, being heavy? You know, him and God. And I'm gonna be honest with you. And I talked about this on my podcast. He had kept telling me, man, look, woo -woo, I'm throwing them off. And, man, look, don't you, I'm pulling out, you know. But anyway, <laughs> one day we did a podcast with Tony. I went home. And by 4 o'clock in the morning, I get up to use the bathroom. My hands cold because I just turned the cold water on. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't go back to sleep. And God just opened up my whole bedroom. I see Bird TV, Bird Podcast, the movie. He called me like three days later and said, bro, I'm putting you in the first movie. And I've been running every since with my own. Bingo. That's fine. And not only that, and not only that, a couple of days later, what was my friends them telling me? Because. Right. I'm talking Bingo. about that this is what they was telling me. Bingo. Believe it. Believe it. But look at me now. Bingo. I'm not. And see, you I'm, listen to the Lord. You listen to that Holy Spirit. Some people say, some told me. No, that's the Holy Spirit. That is the Lord talking to you. Listen to it. When the Lord is nagging, when you can't sleep at night, when you got that on your heart and you're heavy, listen to that Spirit. That is that Spirit waking you up and saving you from something. Listen to it. But that's the thing. You know, he uh, showed up on my podcast, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I take a little bit of credit for that because you you had a different I had an influence on you some kind of way to where you came to my point. podcast and changed your life, you know, and it was a lot of gangsters and a lot of, you know, street niggas, a lot of artists, Christians, whatever on my podcast all at the same time. It kind of looked like, you know, the New Jack City table. You know what I'm saying? Yes. When it was five, six niggas on there, everybody had different personalities. But I would make sure that he would get a prayer in every episode. You know what I'm That's saying? Fire. And niggas was like, man, I ain't never seen a nigga pray after. You know, we didn't cuss and drank and everything. Right. Like, man, y'all need to take your hat off. It's time to pray. You know what I'm saying? Right. Bird TV come with. This before Bird TV. This is just Bird. You know, and I ain't know him from nothing. But his anointance, you know what I'm saying, was 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 grasping me. You feel me? I'm just like, man, I'm I'm changing, you know, through you. And uh, whatever you have done in your life and your past, that was what it was. But I know you as a great man. You know what I'm saying? That's just right. like. And I and and then you know I love to see Bird TV on a movie or Bird TV to, on on a uh, you, you know what I'm trying to say the, the comedy specials and things like that. That's why I was so happy to see you when I came in here like oh Bird because I know where it came from and, and you changed my life as far as spiritually because I was headed down another road you know of alcoholism and and and, and things like that and just being I'm Tony Fred nigga fuck you niggas you know what I'm saying yeah. and getting into some shit you know like you said arrogant assholes you know which I'm still called at certain yeah, times. Well, I'm but still, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, still I, I, I embraced like it. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's right, right, right. You know, I can't change <laughs> right, right, right. That's I just the time. perception of who it was. Yeah, hey, you know, we try, we try, and and, and that's I, what and, it was. And I will say this, man, because I'm 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 not big on religion. I'm big on relationship. That too, and it's a difference. Um, I'm also not big on just calling myself a Christian. I believe God put different religions here. 
at the end of the day for him to be able to touch every single soul and at the end of the day he be glorified from it. So I'm not going to label myself. Not saying I'm not saying that I'm not Christian because I'm born and raised Baptist in the church my entire life. However, where I steered myself to had led me to go seek the truth and seek history and seek knowledge. It's so exactly. much information that even the Bible is missing. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's up to us to go and do our research. And I just want to mentor or, or just speak to the young, the, the youngest that may tap in and just simply say, man, go do your research. What works for you works for you, bro. And whatever you tap into, right. finding the man above, make sure that you follow through with it, man. Whether it be Muslim, whether it's Christian, I, I, the Hebrew, uh, Israelite, whatever it is, man, tap in and just seek help and seek a following or, or guidance, for lack of better words. I'll say it that way. Um, exactly. And leave it at that, you know. And then, and then I got one more thing, you know what I'm saying? We could uh, wind it down time, you know. Don't conversate, you know what I'm saying? Communicate. You know, I've learned a lot of things through entertainment that conversation will lead you some way, but communication will keep people with you. You know what I'm saying? So if I communicate with you, then you we got we, our souls is like you know what I'm saying combined. But if I communicate, if I just conversate with you, you know I'm just like oh man, that nigga ain't shit. You know what I mean? You, know, you wasted. I don't want my time being wasted from your conversation. I want you to communicate with me so we can go somewhere because I'm all about the future right now. I ain't about no just niggas hanging around me and playing games and because I got to make it home to these kids, you know. And, I'm going home to my kids. Else, you know what I'm saying? So. Out. You know, I'm going home to my kid, and I'm telling, I'm telling it right now. I just said we just had a whole podcast of positivity. Exactly. You know, I'm going home to my kid, and that's what it is. You know, one way or the other. So exactly. I, I, you know, making it home, and that's the thing about it. So you know, home is is exactly what, is where it's at right now. So you know, and that's coming from me. Like I'm an arrogant asshole, and everything else they put on me, and you know, narcissist and all the other shit. And I'm wrong with being a narcissist. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong I, when you look up my the best definition. Friend. When you look at the definitions, it just means that you're sure of yourself, you go get it. Now, how you use it is just... Right, right. I don't it abuse it. I have, yeah, it, that's know. what makes you a narcissist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I, one I, thing I, I said in the book. Uh, Men need to learn to love themselves. <laughs> Let Make sure you love yourself. Yeah. Right, right, right. Now, that's most of the time, real quick. I got about two minutes. I ain't going to lie. So uh, I got a lot of stuff going on. Just tap in with me. It ain't about me right now. It's about the ladies and, and the gentlemen. So, you know, uh, community and Judge Ma, what do you have going on? All right, y'all. A couple things. We got the Verdict Podcast, which is also on SDM Flicks, as well as the Verdict Comedy Special. Make sure y'all tap in. Um, I'm going on tour May 26th. First stop is going to be Atlanta at uh, Uptown Comedy. So follow that. Me and Comedian Key, shout out to her. And then um, uh, my, you can follow me on Comedian Judge Miles on Instagram or Facebook, y'all. Right now, I'm just trying to wrap up this show, make it a blast. May 18th, don't forget to get your ticket, follow my page, and oh yeah, I'm about to put out some new music, so I got my fire. studio equipment, I'm about to produce it. <laughs> That's fire. That's fire. I'm still promoting my book, uh, Afro Diaries, uh, The Keys to Being a success, uh, Self-Sufficient Man and Leading the uh, Community. Uh, I'll be probably... Uh, Publishing the next book uh, titled Alpha Diaries for the Woman uh, to help women out because I know a lot of women want information and uh, I'm an advocate for the scripture, so it's going to be coming from the scripture, scriptorial standpoint. Uh, you can follow me at Kyrie Beckham on Facebook and Alpha K uh, Brand on uh, Instagram. And Cut Spoken, Spoken Truth on YouTube. I, I love how you speak, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I, I, I learned how to transfer the word nigga to brother. You know what I'm saying? I call my, you know, hey, what's up, brother? They look at me like, I'm like, bro, I. I you use brother, I use king. King, like, bro. Well, I'm, I'm going to elevate to a king. Oh, oh, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, that's just me. I, yeah, but if you do the original, if you do the, do. If you do the, uh, the original research of the oh, word man. nigga, you'll come to find out that nigga was, you really titled as king. King. Right. Okay, well, all my niggas then. I However. <laughs> it's, 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 so what's a nigga at? Is that, you know, <laughs> all right, now, well, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, Doughboy Clay, what you got going on? Oh, man, I got so much going on, man. I got so much new music going on. Um, I'm getting ready to release a project soon. Uh, I'm, I'm going through, you know, my management to figure out a great date for it. But, uh, but um, of course, I got my construction. I got uh, my box trucks going. I got the music going. I got some movie stuff coming up. Um, man, I got so much going on right now. That, that little concert sparked the 2024 for lack of better words, extravaganza with just me personally. You know what I'm saying? This is probably my 30th podcast between January and now, man. It's like, so I've been booked and busy. Um, I've been doing shows continuously. Um, life is good. Do they need a comedian? I want to hear from you. Yeah, 
That's the word. Oh man, so let's put it together. Let's figure. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. What it sure. is, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. Shout out to Culture Currency. Um, and I just want to say to anybody who's listening, you know what I'm saying? In order to succeed, you got to fail. So don't be afraid to go for your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Make sure you just continue to strive and push through uh, any obstacle that's in front of you, man. Just go for what you know, man. Bird Check big. your chakras. Mm-hmm. I got um, Ghetto Angel be dropping soon. Get shout out to Casino and Keith for helping produce that. Um, dealing with Judge Ma, with, um, Big Detroit Comedy, the big name I gave. I love it. And we just doing it coming real hard with it. With Mo Comedy and the Cabaret, we putting together as we just talking about it. So want everybody to come out with your gators, your... Yeah, whatever you want to put on, just come, mm-hmm. just come, cause we finna go hard with it. It's summer. Shout out nah. to Casino again. <laughs> yeah, as I say, that's gonna be the summertime. I want to say something. I want to say something. That guy right there, I love him to death. He he been a great like me in my life, and I just want him to know, man. You know I'm down with you forever, and we gonna rock this boat together. That works, you know what I'm saying? Well, it was a great episode. Like, I mean, great, you know. I mean, hey, everybody controlled this motherfucker. I finally got a chance to sit back and listen. <laughs> I, and she like, look, we took over your show. I'm like, thank God, shit. You know what I mean? I, I, was, I was sitting and studying motherfuckers. Like, I got to ask them this and how the fuck I'm here. You know what I mean? God damn. I'm, oh, well, thank God, y'all. I need some other motherfuckers. I love it. I, I need some other people well, to go around well, and take control know, of this I'm, motherfucker. I'm, God damn. I'm coming back with Bird TV. I just been so... Into um, the movies and what me and Casino been doing, but I got to bring um, Bird um, talk back with Tony Fresh and whoever you know. But I have you on that mile because we, we, you know, like I say, we do it all. You can smoke. I don't smoke or drink, but I have it for everybody. And um, I'm mad. I ain't bring me a pint. We we just we just do it. You know what I'm saying? We just have fun on Bird talk, and we don't get it in. Rough time. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, we got like one more minute. Got Steph, what you got going coming on? tomorrow, y'all. Go Man. check it out. It's supposed to be around 2 o'clock tomorrow. Make sure you meditate. Make and sure you meditate for that hour. In, um, afternoon, 2 p.m. in yeah. the afternoon tomorrow. Make sure so you make meditate sure. for that hour, giving mm-hmm. thanks and stay in good spirits Pray while it's God. going on. Pray. Get your mind right. Get your vibe, your soul, all shift. that. Mm-hmm. It's the energy shift. So make sure y'all definitely meditating. Stay in focus, man. I hope this one, this cliff right here. Bring number success for all of us. Success. There you go. Not only us, for everybody watching as well. Success and prosperity, man. Facts. Believe you don't it. know the day or the hour the Lord will come. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got a, a prayer coming from a bird, you know what I mean? So, you know, we can bow our heads or however you pray. You know what I'm saying? I'm pray for you. Father God, we thank you right now for bringing us together in your love and your honesty and your grace. Father God, we just ask you, Lord, as we depart, Lord, you be with us. Protect us from all harm and danger. Put your minister angels around us. Protect us from anything that's not right. Close our mind for the goodness and let wealth come to us in your name. Lord, we love and we thank you right now. In Jesus' name, and any prophet out here, in everybody's name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mac. Big shit. Big shit. Why not? Some shit that a nigga know. One of the greatest motherfuckers. For sure. All about the pro. Hip hop. Heavy motion in this motherfucker.